In the morning after that night, which fearfully has passed an outcry, tumult, uproar, the sea split open once again and screamed. And as the scream slowly closed again and from the sky's pale light and brightness fell back into the mute fish's chasm. From the first sun, the hair froth shimmered on the wide curl of wave on whose lip the girl stood, white, wet, confused. As a blade of new green leaf stirs, stretches, uncoils itself and slowly opens, her body unfolded into cool sea air and into untouched early morning breeze. Like moons, the knees rose brightly and ducked into the cloud rims of the thighs. The calves' slender shadows retreated, the feet flexed and grew luminous, and the joints came alive like the throats of drinkers. And in the hips' chalice lay the belly, like a young fruit in a child's hand. Within its navel's narrow cup was all the darkness that this bright life contained. Beneath it, the small wave rose lightly and lapped continuously towards the loins, where now and then there was a silent ripple. But translucent and yet without shadow, like a birch stand in early April, warm, empty, and unhidden lay the sex. Now the shoulders' quick scales stood already in perfect balance on the upright body, which rose from the pelvis like a fountain and fell hesitantly in the long arms and more swiftly in the hair's cascades. Then very slowly the face went past, out of down-tilted darkness into clear horizontal upliftedness, and behind it the sharp closing of the chin. Now, with the neck stretched up like a ray of light, and like flower stalks in which sap rises, the arms too stretched out like necks of swans when they are searching for the shore. Then into this body's dark dawning came the first breath like morning wind. In the vein tree's tenderest branches, a whispering arose, and the blood began rushing louder over its deep places. And this wind increased, now it plunged with all its might into the newborn breasts and filled them and crowded into them, so that like sails full of distance, they drove the light girl towards the shore. And thus, the goddess landed. Behind her, as she strode swiftly onto the young shores, all morning flowers and the grasses sprang up, warm, confused, as from embracing. And she walked and ran. But at noon, in the heaviest hour, the sea rose up once more and threw a dolphin on that self-same spot, dead, red, and open.